So for whatever reason, in the past month or so, I've been getting a, a question pretty constantly. Um, I feel like I used to get the question of like, how do I train StyleGam for free on CoLab? And maybe I've answered that, so people have stopped um, asking about that. But now the question is, am I going to get sued by NVIDIA for using StyleGAN? And I really, I don't really know where this question is coming from, um, but it seems to be like a pretty constant one from people. So um, here you go. Here's a short video on why NVIDIA is not going to sue you. Um, that's the answer. If that's all you care about, like, then you can stop watching this video and uh, go on and train a cool StyleGAN model. Um, but yeah, NVIDIA isn't going to sue you. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit about why I think that is. Uh, first, I should say, like, I'm not a lawyer. Um, personally, I don't even know why people are asking me, me this question because I'm not a lawyer. Um, if you really, really want to know the answer, your best bet is to um, contact NVIDIA and like ask them legally what what they want to do with people using StyleGAN. Um, there's other like EFF folks who are probably better also giving you an answer than this. But like, um, you know, I'm not a lawyer, so like take this with a grain of salt. Please don't like should you at some point get sued like please don't try to bring me into this um but anyway uh they're still not going to sue you um and i think there's a couple reasons why that, that is and i can talk about those and hopefully this will set your mind at ease um so the first one is uh nvidia didn't have to release style again um there's no rule state stating that like when you make a machine learning model you have to release the code the code in fact many many machine learning scientists do not um you know a lot of people there's papers and then they never release the code for it so uh, for example, like Google never released Big GAN. Um, there is a Big GAN version, but it is not the official Google version. Um, so I think that says that they're fine with people using this model. Um, they put the source code up and they're letting people fork it and play with it. Um, so I don't really see a case here where like this says that they are like are very protective over, the, over their model they built. Um, secondly, NVIDIA's main goal as a business is to sell GPUs or to sell servers or whatever you want to say is NVIDIA's business. Um, it doesn't really, it's not advantageous for them to sue people using their GPUs to make models that they're doing, right? So like the entire company of NVIDIA is um, pretty large and like, you know, their research department is very small. Um, that tells me that like they don't really care what, what you do with models that they've tested. Like, you know, most models, like many, especially many NVIDIA models have just sort of been dropped. Like, you know, no one uses no one uses or updates Munit anymore. Um, StyleGAN 2 got updated in part because I think the researchers were just really interested in the topic. Um, but it would be disadvantageous to them to sue people who are basically the buyers of their products over something as simple as an R&D project. Um, so I really don't see this happening. Unlike, you know, say, uh, you know, Disney, who is suing over copyright um, over their characters. like. It's a much more common thing you'll see with media businesses that they're trying to protect their copyrights. Um, so I just, you know, I don't think uh, you're going to get sued because it just is, it doesn't make sense for them from a business perspective. Um, and then lastly, like NVIDIA, ha there's already many, many StyleGAN projects out there and NVIDIA hasn't sued anyone yet. So um, at least that I know of, no one's talking about it publicly at least. So, you know, you've got a case of like some like GAN Breeder and GAN Breeder is like definitely using um, the style GAN and the FFHQ model in a way that like is probably against their the terms and conditions, but like clearly they don't really mind. Um, so you know, there's a case you've got folks like Mario Klingeman, who I am pretty sure is using style GAN in many of his like public uh, art pieces. Um, also, not been sued. You've got Rafik Anadol, who is you know using style GAN for huge exhibits and getting written about in many many different like major magazines. Hasn't been sued for using it. So. I would say like it's very unlikely that your project is going to get sued when those haven't. Um, so, you know, the truth is, uh, and this is the truth about pretty much all copyrights, is like if you need 100% assurance you won't be sued for something, then you probably shouldn't use it. Um, at the end of the day, it's up to the NVIDIA lawyers if they want to sue you for something or not. Like, there are many cases of where you know uh, people have done stuff legally and yet they still face a lawsuit that puts them in debt. So, you know. At the end of the day, it's sort of up to NVIDIA. If they really wanted to sue people about it, they could. Uh, they haven't yet, and I don't see them in the future. But you know, if you need 100% assurance, assurances that you can get away with using style again and won't be sued for it, I generally my recommendation is like just don't do it. Um, so if you're at some university or somewhere where a lawyer is saying like, "Hey, any proof that this won't get us sued?" Um, then you probably shouldn't do it. Um, that's like 
I mean, that's especially here in the U.S. Like that's U.S. copyright law in a nutshell. Is like if you're afraid of getting sued and you like 100% cannot be sued, then uh, you shouldn't do anything, basically. Which sucks, but like that's the real reality of it. Um, but you know, if you're asking about getting sued, uh, there actually is someone who is very likely to sue you um, for using certain work, and that person is the owner of the images in your data set. So if you're scraping data off of um, you know, any number of sites you're more likely to be sued by them than you are to be sued by NVIDIA. Um, so for example, I'm fairly certain that if someone wanted to bring a lawsuit over FFHQ because it's scraping Flickr, uh, that could probably happen. Um, so even though you know that uses Creative Commons and there is an idea that people are using their images for, you know, even for, for profit usage and that's allowed within Creative Commons, I'm still fairly sure if someone wanted to bring a class action lawsuit against NVIDIA for you know scraping that work, they probably could, whether or not it would win is a different story. But again, like this is kind of also the, the case, at least in the US, of legal considerations. Like you can get sued, that doesn't mean it's like illegal. It just means you have to go to court and spend a lot of money on lawyers. Um, so I would actually place a higher bet on you being sued for scraping data than you would be uh, by the NVIDIA makers. Um, so just to wrap up, NVIDIA isn't gonna sue you. Like I highly, highly, highly doubt they're gonna sue you. There are other people they would sue first. Um, who are making a profit that is somewhat good, um, but NVIDIA is not going to sue you. So like, just go make some art and have some fun, and stop worrying about like all these little like law law school types of things. Um, just go make some cool art, and like, if you do get sued, that's an amazing story. Uh, that means you're doing something really really cool, and you should promote the hell out of that. And they should hire an EFF lawyer to go fix it. So NVIDIA isn't going to sue you. Just go make some cool art and stop worrying about it. Um, and hopefully this like answer some of your questions about why we'll tell you to not worry about it. Thanks.